Hey guys, it's Jacob from Living Healthy Every Day. As you can tell, I look very tired. I'm pretty tired and it has to do with what I've been taking. So, BH4, what is it? BH4 I've got in the palm of my hand. This here looks like an experimental drug, doesn't it? It's actually marketed under Biomarin as Kuvan uh, for autistic patients and kids who cannot process phenylalanine. So phenylalanine is a precursor to tyrosine, as you can see in my uh, tyrosine video, and tyrosine converts into L-dopa. L-dopa turns into uh, dopamine. And people who cannot convert tyrosine or uh, phenylalanine build up phenylalanine in their blood and it becomes neurotoxic. So this here is BH4. It comes from irc.bio. I'll post a link in the description below where you can get it. And so I have a methylation problem. Uh, the I'm homozygous for a 1289C, and so I've been taking this by Amy Yasko's company uh, called Liver Support A1298C. It helps you produce your own natural BH4. And now BH4, what is it used for? So it's used to manu uh, help uh, the. It's a cofactor in the production of neurotransmitters like serotonin and dopamine and noradrenaline or norepinephrine. Uh, it also helps with the urea cycle and detoxifying ammonia. So every two BH4 molecules takes out one uh, ammonia and then uh, helps in the, the nitrogen cycle. Uh, it's also good for uh, if you have a bacterial infection with excess aluminum, it helps detoxify that. So all those things uh, if you have a problem with any of them, excess ammonia, uh, bacterial infection, excess aluminum, uh, or a problem uh, with the, the A1298C gene, uh, calls for excess BH4 in your body, and that can get depleted pretty quickly. So that's why it's good to support through methylation or taking BH4 to help detoxify your body and, and get your BH4 levels back to normal. So I've been taking uh, Amy Asko's protocol, I think is 1.25 milligrams, and someone else has a, a protocol of 2.5 milligrams. So I've been taking around there. Uh, I've been using this little scooper that comes with it and just taking about um, three-fourths of the scooper that equates to around two, uh, two to three milligrams. But I've noticed that it's been keeping me up. It's, uh, I don't get euphoric like other people say. Uh, I've been taking it with tyrosine, so I can convert tyrosine to L-dopa into dopamine, so I can get that motivational boost. But it's not, not I don't feel like detoxifying. So I got some blood work done, and it showed that I'm very elevated in my ammonia. So something's either going on with my liver, or I'm not detoxifying this properly. So I've been taking L-citrulline, and I've been taking this BH4 for the past two days. And I haven't really felt any headaches, so no, no uh, detoxification feelings. I've just been waking up in the middle of the night, um, and I wonder if that's because I've been converting my neurotransmitters too quickly and not have enough melatonin in my body, or it's because I just started intermittent fasting, so eating within a eight-hour window, and uh, I've depleted my glycogen store from my liver. So I'm going to continue this experiment, and uh, I'm actually going to take some honey before I go to bed so I can replete, uh, replenish my glycogen stores in my liver and see if I sleep well. Uh, as for this, I really hope it's detoxifying my ammonia and helping support my homozygous A1298C gene. Uh, and this is also good if you have a, a CBS mutation. Um, all part of the methylation cycle. It's a fascinating thing and I, I believe it's the future of, of uh, medicine and healthcare. So, Thanks guys for watching. If you have any questions, put them in the, uh, the comments below because I'll, I'll be happy to answer them. I know this is a very uh, complicated subject and I'll be describing it uh, later on my whiteboard and lay it out so you can understand uh, the A1298C gene and how it works itself and uh, all of methylation. Break it down very simply for you. So thanks guys for watching and stay beautiful.